the idea of smoldering MS stems from uh, the frustration, I think, of us as a physician neurologist who are involved on a daily basis in the care of MS people. Uh, in seeing these patients uh, getting worse despite uh, achieving a successful suppression of relapses and MRI with our widely available treatment. It is quite a common clinical scenario. We we manage, we use these very potent drugs and we are successful in avoiding these people to experiencing new activity on the MRI, new relapses. But yet it's not uncommon that when they attend clinic, patients report that they are getting worse somehow. And the worsening is not the dramatic uh, symptoms related to a relapse, is, is, is not accompanied by any radiological progression, but yet is a subtle worsening, which often implies like increasing fatigue or very subtle weakness in one of the legs that is more um, more noticeable after long walks or after run, or even like a, simply a worsening of their sport performance. So just a large umbrella of symptoms that cannot be classified as a classic relapse, are not accompanied by any changes in MRI, but rather are the consequence of a probably a subtle smoldering chronic process that uh, drives this uh, gradual deterioration unrelated to relapses, which is in a way, it already emerges as a sort of PIRA, progression independent of relapsing activity, but PIRA is only one side of the coin. I think what we were trying to promote is to to an idea of a much larger umbrella of symptoms that goes beyond PIRA itself. PIRA is certainly one part of the smoldering process, but not necessarily the only things. And we, we try to emphasize the fact that we need clarity in defining smoldering MS, MS, what are the symptoms related to smoldering MS, what are the biomarker, what could be the clinical outcome that helps to identify changes related to smoldering MS, what could be the pathological substrate for smoldering MS. And in order to achieve clarity, we, we have been meeting on a regular basis for the past two years, a group of 15 MS experts, to discuss all these aspects to reach an agreement. We use a methodology which is called Delphi Methods, which allows people to agree, to rate their agreement in terms of statements that are proposed covering the all wide aspect of, of smoldering MS. So we, we get into the final stage of this very long and tiring project process which eventually will be published for bringing the community some clarity because I, I can see, and this was clear in the latest Tectrims conference, there's smoldering MS everywhere, but everyone talks about smoldering MS in a different way. It is often referred as a results of chronic neuroinflammation, but certainly that's just, it's too, it's too simplistic. It's, it's not simply, simply related to chronic smoldering inflammation, but this much larger, much wider pathological substrate. So it's important to bring clarity to the scientific community. And that is the purpose of our study.